we have had quite a number of questions about how to feed chicken and we promise you that in this video we want to cover everything that you need about feeding chicken and in particular for this video we want to talk about the layers probably in our next videos we shall be talking about the broilers and the dual purpose birds or the local breed so stick around so that you don't miss what we are going to be sharing so who has ever seen this this is a feeder and inside here it's where we put chicken feed probably you have other other types of feeders that you use to feed your chicken but all the same this is not the topic of today's video in today's video we want to discuss how to feed your chicken and in particular the layers from day one until that stage of selling off your chicken as off layers in this video we want to talk about the type of feed you should give to your chicken the formulas that you need to mix the feeds to feed on your chicken plus how you can save cost under this topic of feeding and when you buy your chicks they will be the old chicks so when they arrive on the farm you are going to introduce your chicks to a specific type of feed from one day when your chicken are one day old to three weeks we give our chicken of one day old to three weeks it's what we call starter feed these are always ferrets they come uh, with a given concentration and mixed so they are always spirits and when you get outside there in the stores where they sell chicken feed you can easily find those spirits the starter feed can always be the same it doesn't matter which company makes this starter feed we don't mix this type of feed at our own farms unless you have uh, a machine that makes ferrets then you can have the ingredients that we use to make this starter feed and make the starter feed on your own farm but then if you can't afford that you can go out in the stores the stores where they sell chicken feed and buy this starter feed after this starter feed from three weeks six weeks six weeks we introduce now we change feed from starter feed to what we call chick mash mash uh, you can mix this uh, chick mash on your own farm we have always emphasized emphasized this that it is always good if you mix the chicken feed on your own farm because it will save a lot for you it helps you save on the cost of production i mean the cost of feeding then then from six weeks from six weeks to laying stage the layers start laying eggs at around four months so within this period from six weeks to the laying stage we give or we feed our chicken on what we call growers mash growers mash because remember we are considering layers feeding layers from day one until you sell your chicken as off layers so during the rain time they call it rain time you'll be feeding your chicken on what we call layers mash layers layers mash you can make the layers mash you can make the layers mash you can make the growers mash and the chick mash your own farm but still if you have the potential you can also make the starter feed these are always pellets so if you have a pellet making machine then you can have the formulas that they follow and have the starter feed and of course we have always emphasized this that it is always good if you mix the chicken feed on your own farm by yourself 
Why? Because it helps you cut the cost of production by reducing on the cost of feed. Of course, outside there in the stores where they sell chicken feed, there are pre-mixed feeds. You'll find the chick mash, you'll find the grower's mash, you can also find the layer's mash. They are always in those stores and you can also buy from them. But of course, it is always a good practice if you mix your own chicken feed because it helps you cut the cost of feed. And after this, we want to be uh, discussing how you can make this, how to make the crow's mash and how to make the chick mash. Uh, so what do I need to make the chick mash by myself on my farm? And what do you need to make the grower's mash on your own farm? And also lastly, what do you need to make the layer's mash? For the chick mash, this is what you are going to have specifically. It is a formula that we feel will give you the best results as far as feeding layers is concerned. Of course, uh, we want to disclose and put up a disclaimer that there are a variety of formulas that are being used outside there by different farmers to make their, their own chicken feed. Therefore, if you get an advice from someone else about how they mix their own chicken feed, don't always assume that the formulas had to be the same. So this is how you make the chick mash. So for the chick mash, you need maize blend. Maize Maize blend, we want to make a formula of 100, 100 kgs of maize blend. In 100 kgs of maize blend, we always advise that make it 80 kilograms, 80 kgs of pure maize blend plus 20 kgs, 20 kilograms of broken maize. I repeat. It is advisable, advisable that while feeding your layers chicken, make 80 kilograms. In 80 kilograms of pure maize blend, add 20 kilograms of broken maize. And in this 100 kilograms of the maize blend, and mixed with uh, the broken maize, we need some fish. Fish. It is always silver fish. Uh, we need put 20 kilograms of fish. You put 20 kilograms of fish. Alternatively, alternatively, you can put 15 kilograms kilograms of of a concentrate. This is an alternative. You can either use fish or use 15 kilograms of the concentrate. In 100 kilograms of maize blend mixed with broken maize. Then we need to put also what we call cotton. Cotton. And also we need 20 kilograms of cotton. 20 kilograms of cotton. Uh, alternatively, you can put 20 kilograms, 20 kilograms of soya. Then we also put some uh, premix what we call premix what we call premix and in this in these quantities you need a half kilograms a half kg of the premix then lastly you put salt salt is also it is always called animal salt and you need one kilogram one kilogram of salt so this will give you what we call a chick mash. Chick mash for layer chicken. This is the type of feed that you give to your layers from three weeks up to six weeks. Then from this, we want to look at how should you make your grower's mash. Uh, then for grower's mash, something changes about the maize blend. Here it is advisable that you use 70 kilograms 70 kilograms of the maize blend plus 30 kilograms of broken maize. And for fish, you need to use around 15, 
it is 18 kilograms of fish put some fish 18 kilograms alternatively you can use 12 kilograms of the concentrate 12 kilograms of the concentrate 12 kilograms of the concentrate this is for the growers mash this and it is 70 kilograms of maize blend plus 30 kilograms of the broken maize and then you add 18 kilograms of fish alternatively you can add 12 kilograms of the concentrate for cotton add 18 kilograms of cotton 18 kilograms of cotton alternatively you can use 18 kilograms of of soya these ingredients are outside there in the stores where they sell chicken feed so when you go out there in those stores you can always ask for the maize brand the fish the cotton the premix and the salt they are always there uh, uh, premix the growers mash put premix add one half a kilogram also half a kilogram of the premix and also you need one kilogram of salt you need one kilogram of salt at this stage at this stage we introduce what we call calcium in our chicken feed so you are going to introduce calcium and in this amount of maize blend mixed with broken maize put 12 kilograms add 12 kilograms 12 kilograms of calcium calcium booster you can put one kilogram of growth booster of a booster it, for the growth mash it is 70 kilograms of maize blend plus 30 kilograms of broken maize and in this quantity we add 18 kilograms of fish plus 18 kilograms of cotton alternatively you can use 18 kilograms of soya and instead of fish you can also use 12 kilograms of the concentrate then add half a kilogram of premix then you need to add one kilogram of salt and in this much at this stage for the growers mash we add 12 kilograms of calcium plus one kilogram of booster these ingredients you will come up with the best growers mash for your layer chicken and we give this growers mash to layer chicken from six weeks from six weeks to Laying, laying, laying time, laying time, laying time. Then let's look at uh, the layers mash. For the layers mash, make it still let it be 70 kilograms, 70 kilograms of broken maize plus 30 kilograms of broken maize. Add 50 kilograms of fish. 20 kilograms of, of fish then add 20 kilograms this is fish add 20 kilograms now cotton so it is always advisable that you use the cotton not the soya then add 15 kilograms of calcium 15 kilograms of calcium half a kilogram half a kilogram of cream then add one kilogram of salt at this stage you can also add uh, one kilogram of what we call egg booster and what we forgot to talk about this calcium can be the lime it can be lime or sea shells sea shells you will always find these ingredients outside there in shops where they sell chicken feed so Layers mash, 20, I mean, layers mash, 70 kilograms of maize blend plus 30 kilograms of broken maize. There you add 20 kilograms of fish, 20 kilograms of cotton, 15 kilograms of calcium, a half a kilogram of premix, one kilogram of salt, and one kilogram of... So this is what you need to feed your chicken. I mean, the layer chicken from day one until that stage of selling your chicken as of layers.
uh, hope we have answered most of your questions about feeding chicken and if you intend to start a poultry farm you need to take feeding your chicken as seriously as possible